Epic is a healthcare software company that quietly provides electronic health records for over 60% of all patients in the US. The Epic Intergalactic Headquarters boasts dozens of themed buildings that are full of personality. Today, I'll be guiding you through every single building on this extraordinary campus. We'll start at the Wizards Academy, Epic's northernmost campus. The library, like all of the office buildings on our tour, functions as a normal office. Every single office building in Epic is connected via sky bridges or tunnels, like this one. The Keep is a standard room we regularly use for meetings and presentations. The Storybook Campus is Epic's newest campus that's based on all sorts of different stories and fairy tales. The Alice Building is based off of the fantastical Alice in Wonderland. The rabbit hole is one of two slides on Epic's campus. Grimm is a fairy tale building that's themed on the stories that the Grimm brothers wrote. In the chocolate factory, you'll find out how Willy Wonka makes all of his sweets. Jewel 
Jules Verne is still under construction, but it's based off the famous author who wrote Around the World in 80 Days. In the Oz building, you'll find plenty of details about the Wizard of Oz, including the yellow brick road. The Central Park campus is just south of the previous campuses, and contains four strongly themed office buildings. Heaven is built to be a gamer's heaven. Here, you can see the timeline of gaming history. Say hello to Rocking Ralph, you're totally welcome to ride him. Heaven is also home to the second slide on Epic's campus. Isis is based off of the fantasy role-playing game. Juno is just above Isis and is themed on the Wild West. Kohotek is the last building on this campus and is based on East Asian culture. King's Cross is one of two primary eating locations, and it's modeled after a train station. The Prairie Campus is the oldest campus, and is just south of Central Park. Andromeda was the first building constructed on Epic's Verona campus, and is often the first place people visit. Borealis is named after the Northern Lights and is themed on the Nordic countries. Cassiopeia is the second of the two primary eating locations.
Deneb is just down this walkway, and it's a jungle-themed office. This is a look at Endor, Epic's very own treehouse. Mikey's Deli is a small eatery that serves sandwiches and daily specials. Fomal Hut is based off of New York City. Ganymede is the last building on the Prairie campus. If you haven't noticed, all of Epic's Prairie and Central Park offices are named alphabetically. The farm campus is the southernmost campus and is home to sheep, tractors, and more. Hey look, it's me! Here's a look at my office, a typical private room. This is Sofrito, another eatery that focuses on Latin American cuisine. These stuffed sheep always appear in the most bizarre places. There are real-life sheep on the farm campus, too. The learning campus is composed of a horseshoe-shaped building that's connected to a circular building and a massive underground structure. Voyager Hall is largely a collection of themed classrooms that are used to teach EPIC certifications. Pluto is another collection of rooms that are used for courses, meetings, and presentations. 
You're also welcome to ride this springy banana. Epicenter mainly consists of three large meeting rooms. I'm about to take you into deep space, which is perhaps the most impressive structure on Epic's campus. Almost 500,000 pounds of rocks were blasted away and excavated, and over 38 million pounds of steel and 52,000 cubic yards of concrete were used to support this completely underground marble. The auditorium can seat over 10,000 people. We use it monthly for staff meetings and several times a year for large healthcare conferences. Thanks for joining me on this tour. I hope you learned a little bit about Epic and what its remarkable campus is like.